the Bob and Tom Show. Got a lot of many achievements we can point to for this show. Very uh, grateful for the awards we've received, but none more so than just been written up in uh, Chronological Magazine for the world's largest clock. Yeah, <laughs> pretty <man>. exciting. Uh, <laughs> It was You're installed welcome. yesterday. It's uh, holy smoly. Well, I think it was recently used as a scoreboard. <laughs> uh, at, uh, Can you it was read a, that? It was a Wrigley Field uh, for many years, and they uh, put it in yeah. here now, and uh, so Tom can see it. That's a good clock. That's a that's, well, a, that's damn, a hell of a clock. That's a damn fine clock you got there, Tom. <laughs> Never have to ask what time it is. No, oh. <laughs> don't ask. Interestingly enough, I do. I, it's. Um, I had the tr- a little bit of trouble making the transition from digital to analog clock stuff. Yeah. yeah that's there because a certain member of our staff who's talking right now um, <laughs> was not um, yeah. uh, taking the so-called breaks on time. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, there was a problem. Well, there's a, the problem is actually, I can probably explain this Here on the we radio. Go. See, the, the clock right behind you, Christy? Mm-hmm. There's a big, uh, there's a glare coming off that because of that light over there. Mm-hmm. So I can't exactly always see what time it is. So why didn't they put an analog clock right next to the big digital one? Because I'm a baby and <laughs> uh, I have an analog clock over there. And uh, I'd wanted a digital one, so I yes, know. but you yourself admit you can't tell time right. in digital in the digital world. Well, that's you why I've it. got a piece of paper over here that says. Oh my lord in heaven! <laughs> Wait a minute, hold it. There's a conversion <laughs> chart. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, it says it says when the exact you know number of minutes after the hour I have to do what I have to do. <sighs> so, I really need a director. I have well, some guy well, standing over there going. You, eh, 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 eh. Yeah, you, you you've got a fine producer who does that. All the time, <laughs> and yeah. and Ace who tells you, yeah. and I tell you every time we're yep. supposed to be out at forty, and you're at forty three. I tell so you we're a little late. Oh, Christy yeah. tells you we're yep. a little late. You so haven't paid I, attention for thirty five years. I think what we need is some kind of electronic vibrating thing in the chair. Uh, and you've got all those lights that say break that are supposed to yep. light up when yep. you're supposed that'll, to take a break. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah that, we got lights. Yeah, two of them. That's not working either. So the point is. <laughs> I said, could I please have a digital clock right there so I can look So you think clock. this is going to do the trick? Didn't yesterday. <laughs> no, huh? Nope, first day out, we were late uh, almost every break. Yeah, yeah. Um, on my, I have this car, the Suburban. You've seen that thing, that big gun? Yeah. When I, sometimes that has this feature on it that um, vibrates the seat. What? Yeah, when you get too close to stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the lane marker or something you can turn Pretty cool. the switch on. Uh-huh. And if you, you swerve out of a lane, it'll go... <laughs> I, I'm not sure. In any event, these cars are amazing. The point is, yeah, that's our new clock. I turn mine off. Hope I, that I doesn't bother you. Um, <laughs> oh, that was, no. well, we I op- managed to stay in the lane without the car telling me I'm yeah, sorry. Uh, here yeah. in the uh, Napa Auto Parts studios, we like to begin the show something upbeat. That was Henry Phillips in a tune called She's Talking Again. No reflection on the of fact my favorites. that Christy's back here. This is the uh, hey. le- legend show today. We've got all comedy, uh, all of our legends on it. Al Jackson, Haywood Banks, Jimmy Pardo. Oh. Yeah, and uh, it's appropriate for Haywood to be here because it's a special day, which I, I'll mention in a few minutes um, that uh, we have something going on uh, that's that's kind of special. Now, um, I need to say that um, we have uh, very exciting things happening on the show today, including our guests. Also, uh, big news in sports, and I hope we didn't curse it by talking about uh, the great horse Omaha Beach at the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, sad news for him, huh? Yeah. By far the uh, favorite. By far. And and our sports pick guy for the Derby every year is comedian Mark Klein, and he was all over Omaha Beach. And what happened? Well, uh, Kentucky Derby favorite Omaha Beach has been Scratch. scratched Ooh. from the Saturday race because of a breathing problem. And if you remember, do you remember, Chick, uh, your first fake horse name that we came up with yesterday that you came up with was Respiratory Illness? That's exactly <laughs> right. Down the street they come. I think we did jinx Respiratory oh. Illness. He has an... Are you ready? Yeah. He has an entrapped epiglottis. Oh, yeah, that's no Ooh. good. A horse you can't have that. No, your epiglottis got to be free. Yeah. But blood has got to be free. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as we all know, when horses are running, they... 
They have to breathe. Oh yeah, yeah. They don't. They're not holding their breath. Yeah, I never took biology. Sorry. What's the epiglottis? Anybody know? Uh, that's your Soft little uh, that little hang down. Is that the little I hang don't know down what thing that in is. Something in your throat. No, 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 no. What's that? The Isn't uvula. Is that the uvula? That the yeah, that's uvula? the uvula. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Wasn't there a band called the uvula? In the no, 80s? I thought the uvula. Well, that was the eurythmics. I thought. That yeah. Was yeah. that the urethra? What's so this I thing? Never... I thought the uvula. That's your septum, right? Your septum. Your, now your septum is between. Separate your nostrils. No, that's your. I know the name to that. It's the philtrum. The philtrum. Oh, the little sort of rivulet that the sort of the, right above the your snot lip. tends to go down. The, yeah. the one that Joaquin yeah. Phoenix kind of goes off to the left and it throws me every time By I the see way, him in uh, movies. Coming up, we have snot in uh, sports news. Great. For real. <laughs> oh, lovely. Can't Besides, wait for that. The so epiglottis anyway. is the is a flap that closes and opens to let food in. But if you're uh, breathing, yeah. But if you're so, it essentially keeps things from going into your windpipe. Yikes. Oh. Hmm. Well, so anyways, no, uh, no Omaha Beach in the uh, in the Kentucky. So, Derby. but they're going to have uh, three qualifying races of some horses we'll have later. We have the names of some of them. The, yeah, the three horse. Uh, there's a race. They're going to have. Three. They're, they're hoping they get another a, a horse that that helps to memorialize and remember the great men and women of of World War II. If you knew because Omaha Beach clearly a reference to the sure. famed, famed uh, D Day invasion. I, what I was going for was there. I was I was making up the scenario over here. There's going to be a. <laughs> Four qualifying races, and those hmm. winners of those four are going to take on the, the two qualifying races. <laughs> oh, I see. Then, mm -hmm. So we can have a lot of fake names, but uh -huh. you want to bring in the World War II to it. And then that kind <laughs> well, that's of, because yeah. my that kind of dampens the No, because I'm hoping that Battle of the Bulge can, can win this, except there's maybe no too, Battle of the Bulge he, horse that we know he, of. He may be too fat to run. <laughs> um, <laughs> the point is, we do have some other uh, horses that will be running in the qualifying races. I, I have a couple of the names. Oh, right really? Here. Yeah, um, let's see. Chainsaw castration. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, boy, yeah, that's, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Chainsaw castration? Yeah, uh -huh. My favorite yesterday was uh, Gerald Fogel's laptop. He, uh, that is a that's good a, horse. That is yeah, a, that is yeah, a, that's that a, good, is a great uh, horse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although, and I think he'll probably edge a prom night manifesto. <laughs> 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 he sure could. He sure could. It. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Josh had some uh, horses. I think uh, a mama's little chrome vibrator. Oh, oh yeah, God. yeah. That's a, uh, that's, that is one fast uh Philly, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Well, we had we had to scratch Mother's Labia. Yeah, um, there was an yeah. issue there. That's the name of the horse. Scratch. Oh, the way I, uh, right. Yeah, we didn't have to. Yeah, yeah. Mother handles that herself. It's a general rule. <laughs> how's uh, <laughs> How's Uncle with benefits doing? Is he uh, <laughs> uh, long shot? A long but, shot. Uh, Still yeah. a long shot. Uh, yeah. How about Kennedy's helmet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> <laughs> John John's the pilot. Is he still out there? Okay. Just mm -hmm. We have a lot of these from our what various, Whitman, various Whit windbags. Thank Whit you so Whitman's much. Whitman's handgun? What was Oswald's handgun? <laughs> yeah, what, which one yeah. was it? Oswald's, Oswald's aim. Oswald's aim. <laughs> yeah, that's what much it was. Much more yeah. subtle. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, love these horses' names. Yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, the Horse names. Kentucky Derby favorite scratched. Yeah. Uh, one of the Did great spectacles. Did you pick spectacles. a derby winner? Well, a lot no, of people no, were picking yeah, saying Omaha second. Beach. No, this is your area. You're the one who bets on the ponies all the time. Well, I haven't even looked at the well, it's a, lineup. I don't even know. I know there's a gray horse well, that was 50 to 1 or something. Uh, we have a lot of good ones. You like the long shots? No, I don't ever bet a gray horse. How about Mother's Pucker? That's is that <laughs> Could we Let's save See? it for the actual preliminary races. <laughs> we have quite a few of these. Thank you, Windbags, for sending many of these. Wow. In. They are certainly a delight. Uh, we should say a quick hello. Christy Lee is back from her mystery vacation. Yeah, we didn't it wasn't know. wasn't a mystery. I went. Uh, uh, had no idea what she was doing. No. There were rumors. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, I did not get married. Well, we assume since you didn't, tell, you didn't even tell us that you were. Yeah. And, and boldly packing a white dress. That, I did not. <laughs> what, I like, what I like to do is. Well, I, 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 we're I talking like, about optimistic. I like a woman that owns it. <laughs> yeah. you know, hey, I don't care. This I is white. I did not get married. I did go. Uh oh. <laughs> to a nudie bar, Tom. Oh, my Stop. God. A nudie, a nudie bar. <laughs> nudie bar. No. Nudie bar. Oh, we're going to have to save it. Save this. Save One story. of us. You're going to love <laughs> this. My new story. clock is telling me, say something else here. We'll be oh, uh, getting okay. to that in a matter of moments. I'm very excited. A nudie bar. Yeah, not like a strip club bar, like a bar where people, the patrons are nude. Huh. Oh, God. <laughs> is it like a club? What the heck? What? <laughs> What? Uh, it's yeah. Key West, honey. Everything goes there. Oh, was it, I gotta all, get to was Key it all West. boys? No. Really? No, it okay. was not. Leathery, uh, leathery sagging boobs. We'll find out. We'll find out. Oh, leathery sagging <laughs> boobs, by the way, is running in the second race <laughs> at Pimlico. He's going off at 10 to 1. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. But uh, let's see now. Christy, when we last left you, you were just back from your vacation. We didn't uh -huh. know where you were. Yeah, I was in Key West, we, Florida. I've never been. Secret. First visit. And you liked it? 
Yeah, it was fine. It was and, fun. Uh, and, uh, um, but one of the things about Key West, if you've been there, I've anything never, pretty I've never much... Been, I've never been there. Anything pretty much goes. Right. It's um, very flamboyant. Right. And uh, colorful. Yep. And not a lot of people wear a lot of clothes sometimes. It's usually hot. I get that. Yes. So there's a bar uh, called the Garden of Eden. It's uh, on the third floor. Uh, it's a rooftop bar. Right. And um, it's clothing optional. So do people get there and then take their clothes yes. off? I've no. never heard of such a thing. Yes, I had not either. However, my do they have friend cha- Do they have chairs? Well, I'm getting to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on a second. Wait a minute. Hold it. Time out. What? Time out. <laughs> Your friend had heard of the clothing optional bar. Yeah, he'd been there before. In Key West, Florida. Yes. Herbert, creep, <laughs> weirdo. Anyway. <laughs> Apparently a shower. <laughs> and a grower. And a grower, evidently. So we go there. Okay. Right. You don't have to take your clothes off. Right. You go up the steps. It's a small rooftop bar, a rooftop lounge. There are like some lounge chairs, mm-hmm. I guess, if you'd With like to. towels on them, I hope. No. Oh, God. Humid ass matter <laughs> decaying. Humid. The humidity the, must be on the, on the yeah. lie. And so it's probably three in the afternoon. Not a big, you know, on a bar Monday day. or whatever. Right. Yeah, not a big bar day. But there was a young man. Probably, I'd say in his 20s, late 20s, early 30s. Oh, God. But he was sitting at the bar. Mm-hmm. As we were sitting at the bar, he was sitting at the bar. Now, are you clothed at this point? I I'm am like, clothed. Okay. Yes. I'm not. No. That's just what I Are you scantily I mean. clad? No. Is your, friend, shirt? is your friend clothed? Yes. Okay. We're both clothed. So uh, if, I'm hear, if I'm hearing this no correctly, top. you've got on uh, two Band-Aids. And a Merkin. Well, you can do, <laughs> take whatever you want. I was clothed. But this young man right. was sitting on his shirt ah. at the bar. <laughs> oh, God. And he was naked. So now, did you have a bib buck on? naked. Did you have a bib on? Was that was buck naked, by the way. <laughs> buck naked. <laughs> yeah, thank you for clarifying. Were you staring at him? You... No, I wasn't staring you at see him. see his dong, though? You see it? Was he facing? Yeah, he got up at one point. He could not. <laughs> You mean he got up out of his seat? Yes. <laughs> he got up, reached down the bar, can you hand me those nuts? <laughs> not, uh, no two messins or uh, any arousal of any type. I see. I was surprised because I thought, and was, I had heard he... from other people that have been there, because I know a lot of people have been to this bar, actually. It's quite well known if you go to Key West, hmm. that it's a bunch of usually older gentlemen. Yeah. And it wasn't. There were, hmm. these three girls came up that were probably, once again, in their 20s. and they Were they took, naked? They took their tops off. Hmm. So you saw six, place? six boobs? <laughs> and then the bartender... That would be six boobs if there were the three The bartender girls. was only wearing like a sarong, and she it, was... It's so it's sarong, so right. it's right, yeah. <laughs> it's sarong. If wearing it's a sarong so right. is wrong, I don't want to be... Nah. I give people credit who can be that comfortable in their own skin. I could not do that, but... They, do they wash the place down with steam or something? <laughs> I don't know when I saw that kid sit like on his shirt. E, the E. coli shaking. I you thought would, Tom you, you would, would go die. In, you would go right. You, you would, would just <laughs> pass away from a case of the willies. <laughs> I, can just, I can just see you. All I could think of was you. Uh, I was like, God, yes. Tom would die. But So is it a touristy thing? or Kind of. Well, I don't know. I don't live there, so I don't know okay. if it's a locals hangout or not. But I can't imagine. Hmm. Was it really hot? No, I mean, it was that, beautiful. Warm. I mean, okay. No, the weather was great. It was probably 80, 81, no humidity, kind of a breeze. It was very nice. The weather was perfect. Sounds was, like good naked weather. Yeah, it was yeah. good naked weather. Uh, you're not good. So it's a nudie bar, huh? We, clothing optional. Yes. Well, they don't use the word nudie? No, they don't. But I think I said that. Doesn't have any class. No. So okay. the Garden of Eden, and now how do they. Uh, what do they say that uh, everyone understands that it's clothing optional? Well, there's you have to walk all the way up the, the steps, and there are signs as you get up there, and you cannot use your you cannot have your cell phone out at all. Okay, they will take. Makes sense. They have a sign up that says, "We will take and destroy your cell phone." Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So this so, guy that was naked, how did he stir his drink? <laughs> I don't know. I think he, he was, was drinking beer. <laughs> no. Well, that awesome. wasn't a thing. He was drinking with it. That's a thing. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a trick. That, that, is, a that is a trick. Yeah. I would pay to see it's that. like an elephant. <laughs> 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 ah, the old penis glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's exciting, wow. Christy. It was something. I would not 
uh, I would not have gone in there. I you don't, don't think, think you would have? I don't think I would. Well, if you're not going to yeah. be naked, I'd feel like, you know, just feel like some kind of perv. You know, I'm but going to Key West, and I'm going to win the Ernest Hemingway Lookalike Contest. And uh, when that happens, I'm not, uh, I don't think. Please there tell were... me, like, hang on a second. Please tell me there isn't a naked Ernest Hemingway Lookalike Contest. God, I hope There not. might be. I don't want to see, I don't want to see Papa's brand new bag, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> I know Ernie didn't like to wear a shirt. I know that. He hardly ever wore did a shirt. Anybody, what did, did that Sloppy Joe's is a popular spot. Yeah, yeah, what, did his, what did his friends call him, Hemingway? Hemingway? Did they Ernie? all call him Papa? Uh, Tank? Hmm. Tank? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I don't know if they called him Papa or if it was just his uh, grand, girlfriend. Grandkids. Um, yeah, yeah. Mary. Yeah, or, I, yeah, I, don't <laughs> I don't remember. But I, I, Ernie doesn't seem to fit. No. Him? Yeah. Hey, Ern. Emmy? Hey, Ernie, the fascists are moving in tomorrow. You want to grab the ambulance? <laughs> I don't see that happening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> sorry. Well, it's the whole, we'll get back to the sports, but it's wow. very exciting, Christy. Christy, yeah. back from uh, her, it was very... her big vacation. Don't forget, we've got our I new app. I did not app. get married. Tom, stop playing there. I don't, I am not. I expected to have wedding gifts when I got here, and there were none. Well, uh, well, where are you registered? <laughs> <laughs> At the Bob and Tom store dot com. That's yeah, right. We have a new cap for you. Got a couple new T-shirts and a couple more coming out, including the new windbag shirts. They'll be available shortly. La, da, da, da. This is the Bob and Tom show. There we go. We're back and uh, we are live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. Some heavy activity going on in here, by which I mean the tuning of a guitar by Haywood Banks. Haywood getting ready for his uh, Civil War reenactment and a uh, fully complete program live and in person in beautiful Lexington, Kentucky. Ah. One of the most beautiful places on earth. Yes, the Athens Le of the West. Lexington and all the surrounding communities. It'll be uh, more beautiful with Haywood Banks on stage at the legendary comedy off Broadway. Uh, with Haywood coming up. Is that starting tonight, sir? Uh, tonight, yes. Okay. I just want to apologize to the Kentucky Derby and uh, and Cinco de Mayo for messing up their attendance by me showing uh, uh, up down there. Uh, oh, okay. sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's going to be it's going to be brutal for them. Um, <laughs> it's going to be rough. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be rough for those guys. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. Second, I, it didn't dawn on me that we have a combination weekend here, don't we? Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Oh. I forgot about that. Wow, this will be very exciting. This is Cinco de Duo. No, Duo de Duo de Mayo. Is yeah, the, Duo de Mayo. Is, Duo the de Mayo. Reason, is the reason that they have this new guacamole cheese, does that have something to do with Cinco de Mayo? I bet releasing it this week is, yeah. was a smart move. Sure. No, it doesn't. We uh, it, it, This thing, and I know you hate it when I say this, but the story about guacamole cheese made the international news wire this morning. We talked about it yesterday. It At was on Fresh the, Market. It was on the overnight news last night on ABC. Did you yeah. see that, Ace? Yeah. So, but I have still have not seen something that says how long it lasts. Yeah, yeah, and I, that's what I want to know. If you, when you, if you will, cut the cheese on this guacamole cheese, does it turn brown right away? Like, like the, avocado does or guacamole yeah. does? I and don't. We know. tried to get some yesterday and couldn't find any. So. Hmm. Uh, we'll find out, uh, but it, it sounds kind of delicious. But it the sounds price really good, actually. Did you see the price on it? Twenty four ninety nine a pound. It's kind of steep. Yeah, yeah, they're proud yeah. of it. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, in the meantime, Haywood Banks has joined us. And is still tuning his guitar. Still tuning. As, as, still we're, as, we're, as we're talking. That's why I'm still talking about <laughs> That's guac right. guacamole cheese. <laughs> Always uh, hilarious. Well, this, this, uh, are, oh. we, are you close? To, are you close? But, yeah, close, I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> why don't you get in tune because we can talk about something else. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Briefly. Yeah, right. <laughs> we don't mind. You can tune while we do this. Um, seriously, you can keep tuning. We have a couple things I wanted to get to anyway. Uh, we do have a new app out there, which is great. And uh, if you get the app, it's free. Um, iTunes, uh, et cetera, et cetera. What is it? Google Play. Um, and uh, you can join us here in the show and weigh in on various topics, including uh, horse names that have never been used. Sure, mm -hmm. yeah. Some samples of that, Josh. Do you have any of those uh, horse names that we have not done? Oh, we sure do. Uh, out of the gate, it's Oswald's Aim, followed by Jared <laughs> Fogel's Laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Around <laughs> on the far outside, it's uncles with benefits. Uh, <laughs> I like the nap behind. It's just the tip. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> all these are good. You know, in uh, in uh, in Lexington, they have a, a street called uh, Manure. Oh, yeah. I guess you know back in the day. You know, back in the day, like the, when they were naming towns, they had no internet or anything, or they, they had no uh, radio. You know, like they had Versailles, Indiana, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of Versailles, you know, and, and down there, uh, manu it's M A N O W A R, it's manure. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's weird the pronunciation mm -hmm. or the uh, spelling. Like mm -hmm. Milan, Mile Michigan. There's a yeah. whole series. There's a Versailles, of, Kentucky, right? Rushaville, not Russiaville. 
Uh, now, are we ready? Because I, yeah. you, you have a can you? You had a brand new song I really enjoyed uh, uh, recently, yes. I, and I there was a uh, str- there was kind of a struggle. So brand new. Now you've had you've had time to uh, to print the lyrics out. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, uh, okay. Get for those of you that are, like, can't see this, uh, he literally had to take the pages and looked at them for a long time, then realized <laughs> they were backwards. They were yeah. backwards. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And now they're upside down, but I'm not going to say anything. Okay. <laughs> That's how he reads. He's a lefty. So. <laughs> how would you know it was me? Really? <laughs> Um, this is a brand new song. This is I'm, see the uh, the street is M A N O W A R. Oh, it's not oh, spelled manure. like manure. Yeah, yeah. Manure, yeah. Doubling down on that. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, yes, keep, keep saying. Repeat it. the damn joke. <laughs> really, right. just, uh, keep going, baby. That's the with the Letterman. Okay. Uh, yeah, the philosophy. David Letterman. Uma, yeah. Oprah. Oprah. You'll, Oprah, get, Uma. you'll yeah. get this eventually. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love the Oprah. Oprah Uma I know thing. you do. I thought that was hilarious. Hence the presence of Haywood. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Haywood, go ahead. We got him. There you go. Well, <laughs> it's it's Shiv week here at the end. <laughs> here we go. People, my name is Haywood. Some folks just say, hey, I am a friend of Hugh who introduced me to a woman from Amsterdam. Her name was, it was pronounced, you know, but spelled J-U-N-O, and this is how the introduction, it did go. Hugh said, hey, hey, you know me. I said, hey, Hugh, I know you too. Hugh, Hugh said, hey, do you know, you know. I said, you know, how do you do? <laughs> you know, so, you know, said, hey. Hey, how, howdy, hey, and howdy, Hugh. She was extremely pleasant to be introduced to. Then you know, knew, hey, and you don't know, Hugh, and hey, and Hugh knew, you know. <laughs> oh, I forgot this is the one that has all the key changes. Just then, a woman from South Korea stopped by to say hi. Her name, it was pronounced me, but although it was spelled M I. She too just knew Hugh, so Hugh he knew just what to do, so Hugh commenced to introduce us. Hugh said, hi me, I know you. Me said, hi Hugh, you know I'm me. Hugh said, me, you know, you know, and you know, do you know me? Hey, hey, you know me. I said, no, Hugh, but I would like to meet me. Then <laughs> me knew, hey, and me knew, Hugh, and you know who, me knew, you I know. Don't, I don't. And hey, you know, and Hugh knew me. Everybody say. <laughs> oh, another, oh, there you go. <clears throat> Just then a friend of mine, whose last name it was I, it was spelled E-I, but pronounced I, happened to walk by. So when I said I would like to meet some friends of mine, I said that would be fine. I said I, do you know you? I said I, do you know you? know? I said me, do you know I? Hugh said I know I. And you know she knew I, and me knew I, and me said hi, I, and so now, hey, you know you and me knew I. And I knows me, and I knows hey, and I knows you know and you. Hey, and I knew you know and you, and you knew I knew you know and me, and you knew me, and me knew I. You know you I, you knew. You to me. So we thank you, and I thank you, and you know, thank you. I demand that those lyrics be printed, be published somewhere on one of our Bob and Tom app. That's Haywood Banks. There are lyrics to that song. Yeah. yeah. There are printed lyrics now, to just, that song. Just to clarify, just to clarify, the names of the characters in that song. <laughs> you got your Uno. Spell yeah, you J-U-N-O. Know. J-U-N-O. J-U-N-O. So Uno. that's you know. You know. And you got your me. M-I. Me, M-I. Yeah. From South Korea. And then... And then you, Hugh, H-U-G-H. Okay. Hugh. And Haywood, you got hey. Hey. For where's, Haywood. He, where's Hugh from? Hugh is just... Uh, just a regular guy. Uh, is he from uh, Lexington, Kentucky? I hear he's going to yeah. be tonight uh, yeah. uh, part of the big weekend at I'll Comedy, uh, Comedy Off-Broadway. You'll see Hugh tonight? Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. You... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm glad Hugh's here. Oh, He'll no. be there? Hugh, okay, you, okay, Hugh will be there. Are we helping? Uh, no. Okay. And then there's I, which is spelled E-I. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you were able to get your manure together to do that song. <laughs> you can you triple down on that joke, as they say? <laughs> manure. Oh, God, I did see a thing about, because uh, that phrase, to double down on a joke. Yeah. yeah. That's actually not really correct. Because th- what double down actually means in the world of playing blackjack. Blackjack, sure. Yeah, that's not really... Well, no, it's not. A, it's not a. It's not oh, necessarily Lord. the exact same. That's it's uh, actually more they use or less it completely the opposite. Blackjack. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, that was yeah. the joke thing that's, first. Yeah, the joke came I, first. I, I had. I had no idea. <laughs> that's right. Um, well, Look at the time, Tom, uh, and that big, huge clock of yours. <laughs> I, I didn't know. That, I didn't know we were getting the Edmund Fitzgerald yeah. version of the Hugo. You go me, and I go you, and he goes there. There's no way you could call what he just did a song. No. <laughs> Very enjoyable. I think it had a bridge, a chorus. I couldn't tell when it switched. Well, he changes. I, I was watching Josh, and he was he was just ab- transfixed by how awful it was. <laughs> I, I was transfixed, it. but it's, not by how. He's just trying to follow what's going on because you, you <laughs> yeah. go and me and. <laughs>